Hello, Monster Band here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and a brand new supporter campaign. That's right, this was voted for by supporters. We're playing as Eltharian, the kinky elf. So High Elves won the won the poll, and uh, then of spells. wait, that's not kinky elf. Uh, kinky elf is actually over here. What? Why? Why? Why do you start over here? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? What? Why? Why? What possible pissing re- Lawmaster of Hoef. They are under my protection. Throw tireless. Well, we're leaving, obvious. What the fuck would I be there? What the fuck? Why? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sail all the way bloody home now. No glory. It's gonna take me friggin' ages. How many turns is that going to take me? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, probably ten turns just to swim all the way fucking home. The pi Lives Okay, livestock pens is fine. Why have... No. No. No, Altharian. What the hell is this start? Jesus Christ. She, that's making me angry already. Why? What? The... Yes, it does. Unfortunately, <laughs> you're nowhere near. Hi, mage. What the fuck? Why does he start all the way down there? What possible fucking I reason? Fire. I'm sure you do, madam. Jesus Christ. Why? It's probably... You know what? It's going to be quicker just to disband that army. The fuck? Why does he start all the way down there? What possible... Like... I, I could I could understand it if your homeland was fairly safe, but you've literally started off with an enemy army here. So why is your lord starting the other side of the fucking map? <laughs> fucking god damn it! Oh, I really. I tell you what, I really hate. Elf one expects. Oh, yeah, well, fuck it, I'm just get disbanded, everyone. You're disbanded. Um. Okay, no, I can't disband you. A trip. Indeed. What is your thing? You got fruitful. Well, here's Henry Cavill. The Warden of Tor okay. 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 Magic we'll send you back. I'm kind of like, why? Sh surely the better option is to, like, just... Ugh, fucking, who knows? Who the fuck knows? Right, we're going to build that one instead. Research-wise, we're going to go with Spearball. Um, like, right. I, I know my victory conditions are to, to kill orcs. Um, but, I mean, sh surely it's it's better off to start off up here. Like, secure your homeland and then consider it. Rather than try and, like, fight off a green skin invasion over here while also trying to land the Badlands. So, no, we're not doing that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna sort this problem out. We're gonna I mean not to mention that you know we're obviously infested with fucking crab people as well. So we need to deal with that. There's crab people down here as well, so they need to die. So basically, there's a there's a lot of issues that need to be dealt with back at home, right? We're gonna deal with the issues back home, and then we'll consider invading the Badlands. Not before. Anyway, so Altharian, of course, is kinky elf. He has access to dungeons. Yes, he likes to lock people up, and I don't know, maybe wear leather pants. Wh whatever. I, I don't mind. Uh, we can spread the mists of Uvesi, cloaking Altharia in his allies' lands and defensive shrouds, assuming he has lands, which is nice. Uh, diplomatic relations, reduction with the greenskins. Well, they're going to hate us anyway, so who cares? And we get more recruit rank for spear infantry and ranger units. Um, so we have this little prison here. Uh, we can upgrade our building, which gives us access to uh, special units that only Altharian can recruit. Which is quite fun. Um, I guess we're just waiting for Altharian, to be honest. We can, we can recruit some more some more guys but um yeah interesting choice slightly confusing okay. i swear to god sometimes ca does things you're like i don't who what why i don't understand i don't quite understand what your plan was really Okay, Lothar and Seaguard are very good. 
When does... Would you shut up? When do you come back? Four turns? Four turns? Be quicker to sail you back at this rate. Jesus. Goddamn elves. <laughs> the worst. Why, why high elves, guys? Come on. You know I hate high elves. I've got a thing about it. I mean, dark elves are fine. At least they're kind of, like, kinky. I can get I can get in on that. But, you know, high elves are just poncy. I really hate that. It's like a faction of Speak. Jacob Reese mogs. Why would you want to, you know? Pure magic. Why would you want to? Yes, good, good, good to hear. Right, okay, we're gonna... More archers? Yeah, do we want light armor? I mean, the light armor is literally, you get... You get four more melee defense. Well, if you're fighting in melee combat, you're screwed anyway. And um, a little bit more armor for quite a lot more income. I mean, I, I genuinely don't really know why you'd bother doing that, to be honest. But far be it from me to complain, which apparently I've been doing for most of this intro any never mind i mean normally we'd have a bit more combat going on but frankly i just i, I wasn't i wasn't going to invade the badlands while we've got issues on all one just seemed like a bad idea the most gifted. i mean lothurn seaguard you can't go wrong with lothurn seaguard can you i'm sure you do so cavill is is on his way home he does move slightly far. Well, does he move slightly faster? I'm starting to think maybe it just would have been quicker to sail back. I'm going to be honest, I don't think it makes much difference, apart from the fact I just disbanded an entire army. Um, I mean, was that a good idea? Was it a bad idea? That, that I mean, that's an argument we can potentially have together. Or at least a one-sided argument. God damn, guys. Uh, weapon strength. 10% for high. Okay, fine. Fine. You're accruing stuff. But it's Master mostly goblin magic. archers, so I'm not super concerned about that. I mean, on the plus side, it did give us a lot of income, didn't it? So we do have a lot of money there. So that's something. I'll take that. Reload time reduction. Yes, all of that kind of good stuff. Make people shoot faster. You? Uh-huh. When are you back? Okay, next turn. Okay, next turn. Next turn, we go on the offensive. And then Cavill will turn up. We, we sort out the green skin issue. Then we can deal with the horrible crowd people. Once we've got those locked down, we can look at maybe beating up the, the, the vampires. We'll kill them. And then maybe Marathi could be an issue. It depends. We'll see, we'll see how the High Elves are doing. Sometimes the High Elves do really well. Sometimes they die horribly. We'll, you know, with us there... You never know. You never know your luck. Did Morga die? I'm not sure. Also, I probably should have done trade agreements, shouldn't I? I completely forgot about that. Never mind. Um, we just need to, you know, capture this province before Tyrion does. Or before Alariel grabs a sort of cane. Hello. Hello. Alright, you're getting kicked out. You're getting in. I can better serve. Good, good to hear. Right, first things first. Ah, oh, first battle of the campaign. It's got that. Oh, it's slightly stale. Never mind. It's it's fine. Okay, well, they do have a lot of green skins, but I've got one thing they don't. A globule of sticky, viscous, creamy fluids. Which literally makes the soul leave their body. Yeah, so we'll be getting using. So I, what I didn't know about Soul Quench was that it's. Uh, is this a new effect? The damage per second, 62 to 125 for three seconds? Because that actually makes it really nasty. <laughs> like, wow. That's pretty brutal. Obviously, Amber Spear is still the best spell in the game. Um, we've got a lovely little defensive position here. This is looking very nice. So we've got a front line, of, a staunch line of spears. And then we've got the Lothar and Seagull behind. And then we've got the archers on the flank over here with the cavalry hanging up around on top of the hill there, just in case they do send any units around the, around the hill there. But I, I think we should be fine. Another globule 
of uh yeah that's that's gonna hit a lot of people and it also needs a big stain on the ground as well don't use the black light so that's like 37 kills for two spells that's not bad it's pretty good not gonna lie okay and this is where we excel with the sheer weight of missile fire Alright, well, yeah, all of that is technically true. Your boys are advancing, but their shields aren't that good. They're getting absolutely annihilated by that. Ooh. By that, uh, concentrated arrow fire. Elfarin with the 72 kills so far. Not bad. I mean, the problem is that Alfarian wasn't raring to go at the start, which means it's given these guys time to build up multiple stacks of troops. Hurrah! Just what I needed. Okay, we're giving our lives a little bit of a heal there. Apotheosis. Okay, we're going to see if we can we can uh, trap old Gormog in our in our secret sex dungeon. Get the nipple clamps out, some rubber pants, that kind of thing. Be great. We're gonna see if we can get a soul quench on these goblins. If we can maybe strafe through the entire line, that's gonna do a lot of damage across the entire enemy army. Come on, soul quench! Oh, it's good! It's good! It's very good! It's very good. Yes, a lot of damage being dealt out there. Altharian with the 159 kills. Just knocking out those goblin archers who are trying to pick off Altharian. Despite the fact they're goblins, they can still do some damage. Altharian isn't like the most amazing melee character, but he is a jack of all trades. So he can actually do fairly well in general. Plus, of course, he's a caster. He's got a, he's got some nice abilities. He's generally kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Looking at numbers, we can see the enemy army is being depleted very rapidly. Another soul quench, which mostly hits this blob here, but that's fine because you know it's all damage. Altharian with the two hundred kills. And the enemy general is being worn down. We need to drop a cage on him just as he, he basically gets down to... We ideally hit him with it just as he's about to die. Because at that point, you know, you've, you've definitely got him. Ah, oh, the green skins are in full retreat. The Alarian Reavers sweeping in from the rear going to use them to try and run down as much of the enemy as possible and down goes the warden's cage that reduces their melee defense armor they can't move gives them some damage per second and that's right we've got a pair of rubber pants with your name on them and we'll make sure we riddle as many green skins as possible with arrows as they retreat and use the alarian reavers to hunt down what's left Okay, and we managed to get the, uh... Oh, God, that's a lot of replenishment. Jeez. Uh, I wouldn't mind more... Mm, mind you, if we take that, we could potentially just go straight... You know what, let's... Let's take the replenishment. Because that way... Right, we've, we've got we've got a lad in our own dungeon. So we can indoctrinate him. It's going to give us 5% of his income. We could always execute him. Get eight influence. How much influence do we get for that? Four influence next turn. Three supply. I don't think 
the amount of income we get is going to be necessarily that useful. So I'm going to execute Another the fucker. Removed. Um, excuse me. Oh. There we are. Right. I'm going to bop you. We're going to get the influence, and we're going to we're going to take tra tra la 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 la. Ooh, a helm of discord is pretty legit. We've got three skill points as well, right? Going to get root marcher, definitely. Um, you know what? I do quite like soul. I've, I've decided to quite like soul quench. I think it's pretty legit. So we're doing <laughs> we're doing that. Duty is I mean, yes, yes, it it does look like I've jizzed over everyone, but that jizz does a lot of damage. So... I will hear you. I promise no more. Alariel! Trade agreement. Absolute. Wait, did you ask me for money? You cheeky cow. Hello? That's a lot of orcs. Well, actually, it's mostly goblins, to be fair. Okay, we're laying down some good fire. The main issue here is going to be how much ammunition we have. So we try and wipe out uh, two and a half thousand greenskins. I'm already a little bit battered from the previous battle. Not to mention that uh, the Nazi Skulkers... Now, I couldn't see the Nazi Skulkers and the Nazi Skulkers couldn't see me. So why the hell were they still heading towards me? It's almost like the AI knew where I was. Far be it from me to, to make that judgment. I mean, maybe it just knows where you were in your last position and it, like, heads towards it, trying to hunt you down, but... I don't know. It kind of makes me suspicious. So we've got the reinforcements. They're currently headed in this direction. It is mostly missile units, a lot of goblins. So I'm not super concerned, although goblins potentially could do some damage if they all get into range at the same time and uh, focus fire on my squishy missile units. But the initial enemy army is being cut down. There we go. They are retreating. The Illyrian Reavers managed to get away from the Nazi Skulkers. The Nazi Skulkers probably would have did, did, done a real number on them had they managed to catch them. Not to mention they would have dropped the smoke bomb, which means they wouldn't have been able to get away. So we're just pulling out of range there and uh, picking off this unit of goblins. They are just like sacrificing units. Maybe to waste my ammunition. Maybe because I don't know what else to do. I don't know. And they certainly are soaking up a lot of a lot of arrows. Because uh, we're looking about... You know, some of these units are around about 50% at the moment. That's not ideal. And I also just managed to blat one of my own units with a soul quench. Just all over them. Never mind. Ooh, that's a lot of arrows. Those old boys being just cut to shreds. And then Altharian charging in as well. Nasty skulkers. Coming out of the trees. Still hunting the uh, Alarian Reavers. Ooh, strike. Okay, most of these units fleeing. That, that Goblin Shaman keeps throwing bolts at me and is actually doing a reasonable amount of damage, which is annoying. Okay, here comes those reinforcements. It's a lot of them. We've still got 2,000? I remember this is, the, this is like the second stack that I've had to deal with. 
I've already killed one enemy stack. This is just a second. Ow! Ow! Ow, dick! All right, we're using the Illyrian Reavers to just run down those nasty skulkers, make sure we shatter them and they don't come back, because I don't want those sneaky bastards coming and uh, charging into my flank when I'm not paying attention. Okay, the goblins and orcs need to be cut down first. And uh, once they're engaged into melee, we can then concentrate on taking out those enemy archers. The goblins should be fairly easy to pick off. Ow. God damn. Oh, those goblins are soaking up so much fire. I mean, it's still doing a lot of damage. You can see units being cut down. You can see there's lots, lots of enemy archers now lining up. Some of them are actually hiding in the trees over there, and uh, they seem to want, really want to pick off Eltharian, which is not necessarily the worst option. Is that his uh, Miss Walker Barrage? Yes, that's the one. He's engaged in melee. It's got a 30 second cooldown. That's quite useful, actually. All right, we're going to basically just get some of our missile units to concentrate fire on taking out those archers. Bunched up like that, if we had some spells, that would obviously be great. You know, we could take out large blobs of goblins. As it is, we're going to have to uh, concentrate with just a missile unit. But you can see, you know, we, we can do a lot of damage to them. And in a missile duel, we'll definitely win. Particularly because they seem to be targeting Eltharian, which is fine because I could just keep moving him around or healing him. Plus, is, their goblin arrows aren't really going to do that much damage to him. So that is uh, overall fine. This guy, this guy's got 97 kills. Just, just keeps casting that goddamn spell at me. It's very little, I, can, I, I can't go and hunt him down because I'm too busy with the rest of this fucking army. Okay, just taking down those goblin archers there. Uh, the Illyrian Reavers charge into trees. They've got reasonable charge bonus. Their melee attack and defense aren't bad, but against this many goblin archers, they are going to kind of struggle a little bit. But uh, it's going to keep them occupied, so I'm kind of... I, I kind of... You know, they're sacrificial. That's fine. So my archers have run out of ammunition, and they're now charging into melee combat, because that's what they do. You know, it, it's, it's obvious. Once you've run out of arrows, what do you do? That's right. You run up. You run up and try and hit people with the, with the bow, don't you? That's just, that's just common sense, really. Okay, those goblin archers have taken a lot of damage. Uh, most of the units are now fleeing away from the battle, but they will be back. Altharin has taken a bit of damage himself. Uh, we've got Gouger Face Smasher. He definitely needs to have his head kicked in. It. Get in there, lads. Get stuck in. The Reavers have actually done a lot of killing, but are being overwhelmed with sheer weight of numbers. So we're going to send some some guys to go and help. Just still getting these, these goblin archers coming back to the fight. Rallying, coming back. Enemy General is being beaten up. Once, we, once he's almost dead, we can we can drop a cage on him, potentially give him some, some rubber pants, and then obviously nipple clamp him to death. The good old nipple clamps of death. Roth and Sea Guard, not just good at shooting people, they can also fight in melee combats. Definitely more competent than most goblins. And enemy lord, we did we did manage to get him in a cage. We caged him. Got some fluffy handcuffs ready to go as we just mop up the last of the goblins. The reavers did break 
We'll bring them back again. I mean, they did get 144 kills. I mean, admittedly, that is mostly goblins, so it's not really worth that much. But, you know, it's, it's definitely better than nothing. Ooh, interesting charge there. Didn't really do much apart from manage to get some of them, them some of their own units killed, but never mind. That's fine. We've got those orcs now surrounded. Orcs, actually, the orc boys. I mean, their melee attack is, you know, middling, but their weapon strength is pretty good for a bog standard, bog standard infantry unit. They can, uh, they can actually do a lot of damage given half a chance. We just need to run and to break the rest of these goblins. I don't really like the alert with the reavers mostly wiped out. I don't really have a unit to, and my ammunition running low. I don't really have a way to wipe out these guys. So I'm just going to hope that they're going to be fairly easy to finish in a follow up battle. Okay, well, they're throwing a lot of green skins at us, but we are killing, well, all of them. So we just need to keep that up and then, you know, retake everything. Oh, look at that lovely influence. Plus, I think we've got someone else. Oh, we definitely got another guy in the prison. Prince it's bullshit, that is. Absolutely fucking bullshit. Right, we'll kill you. Good night, Vienna. Um, I guess I'll take the favor. And then, oh, shit, we can't reach it. Oh, we can. We can reach it. Uh, I'll lose the cavalry. You know what? I'm, I'm also not invested. Ooh, the gem of sunfire. That is pretty fucking... In fact, that's amazing. 30% fire resistance for an entire army. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, let's take that one. And right, what do we want to do here? The Shield of Safari is damage resistance for nine seconds. Not the worst thing. We'll take that. Hand of Glory as a single target buff, which I kind of don't care about. Tempest only affects flying units, which we're not really going to face at the moment. What do we got? Warden Toy of Resi. That's a Silver and Guard, which we don't have because I disbanded them. Rangers. Well, many attack and defense. Eh, I don't really like Rangers. So let's. Ooh, more melee attack and defense for Mistwalkers. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go Soul Quench and. Oh, I guess Tempest. The Warden of Tor Ivress. Okay, we're going to upgrade for it. Right, we, we, need to, we need to clean this out. These green skins. They, they all need to die. Joy. And uh, I feel like we've kind of broken them. I mean, we should have done anyway. Oh, we got rights. Of course we do. Is there any reason we shouldn't do this? I can't think of one. It's going to give us more influence, which of course is really good, because it lets us recruit uh, heroes and lords who aren't catastrophically shit. Which is nice. Less campaign movement range, potentially income from all buildings, growth and... Yes, growth and construction costs. Let's do that. Okay, so we want to try and take out the green skins quickly. I say quickly. We're on turn eight. If this if this was if this was turn two, I'd be doing quite well. Uh, but uh, little little bit of the delay. Also, we may have un Ooh, uh, no, we may have uncovered we may have uncovered certain factions which will potentially send armies our way which of course is is going to make life a little bit harder uh, but that's fine we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it a quest has been issued my has it? Lord. okay a great adventure beckons oh i love adventure for while I will. The potential rewards are Go on, back in your box, you creepy bastard. Right, what we got? Talisman of Hoth, which is fine, I guess. Reinforcements expected? Yeah, okay. I will avenge. Oh, Tilly is dead. Okay, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to we're gonna head in this direction. How much money we got? Enough. 
got enough. Oh yes, I need to build the things, don't I? So... What does this do? Inter oh, interrogation is quite nice. Uh, influence per turn. I'm going to get this. My father's stronghold must be renewed. Indeed. Let's, let's get the uh, let's get the fluffy handcuffs Impressive installed. Guardian. Let's see, uh, that's the good shit. Okay, more. I mean, Lothan Seagars. They're basically spearmen, but also they can shoot people, which is really useful. And uh, Cavill is on his way to come and join us, which is nice. But the quicker we can, we need to, we need to wipe out those green skins. The sooner we wipe them out, the sooner we can bring our forces to bear against the Kari. And he's the second big threat. The third big threat is, of course, going to be Count Noctilus, who does tend to turn up quite regularly uh, on Lothurn and can actually do a lot of damage. I think if he and the Kari kind of join you forces with Marathi. It tends to In cause problems. Fun. Also, I really should get a trade agreement with everyone. Why am I not doing that? I'm just constantly forgetting that that is a thing, apparently. Okay, let that before before I forget. Before I forget, let us. Lord of okay. Bow before the rightful lords of this. I never fail. No, not you. Dark are these times. Sigma's will. As All right. Okay. Apparently, no one wants to give me a trade agreement. Oh, we got we got trade with most people. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Brook no failure. I will. I'll tell you what. I do not. I do not. Period victory. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. What's the replenishment like? Okay, that might take us. That might might take us a turn. Uh, so let's get tempests. It is necessary. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, you come down here. Uh, do we have how many guys? Twenty or twenty. So we could potentially like. Merge some archers. Come here. Duty is purpose. They are under my Get protection. some training on. And then I think we... I mean, that was their capital, right? So if we, if we just... We can quickly go and wipe out the rest of those guys. That should be no big problem. We got that. That's no big thing. Low well, defense for Lothan Sea Guards? Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? How many supplies do we have? I I'm I definitely got that second sure that second warlord that in a thingy magic. Oh hello Tyrion. Yeah right. I think we could be friends. I'm just gonna deal with these these green skins. Then Count Not Oxlos will probably declare war on me and uh, I'll probably have armies coming from I mean I I feel like Aroness is quite far away, so I'm not super worried about her, but I feel like I do have to be worried about her. Because I, I know what the AI is like. And I just... I I suspect she'll be on her way. The Warden of Tor I think we're just going to book it down here. because I, if, Even if we have to fight this. Yeah, we're going to have to fight this. Well, this should have been a nice, easy auto resolve. However, I'd prefer not to lose most of my army. However, I feel like just if we just keep hitting them, that's definitely the better option than letting them start recruiting stuff. And obviously, you know, the sooner we get this done, the better. And Thorin's taking out some Goblin Wolf Riders on the flank here. The Goblin Wolf Riders, not really a great unit. And we should be able to uh, quickly dispatch them. Here's the old flame column that we got from our 
arcane item, which is quite nice. Nice little soul quench there. And our missile units are doing their job, cutting down those goblin and uh, orc infantry units as they advance. But we are going to have to send in the spearmen to hold them at bay. Number of units starting to rout, though. Some goblins managed to get into combat with the Lothan Sea Guard. The Lothan Sea Guard, of course, are competent in melee combat and will be able to send them on their way. Yeah, this 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 is definitely not going to wipe out most of my army. Got the Wolf Riders being cut down. Off they go. They'll probably be back, but Altharian can now rush over to assist with uh, the rest of these units. We could potentially get this Goblin Great Shaman in in the old uh, sex dungeon. Just knock out those archers, make sure they're out of here. Altharian was rushing over to assist, but those Wolf Riders rallied quicker than I thought. And there's a number of units rallying, actually, which is uh, not ideal. I was going to try and pick off the Goblin. I was like, yeah, if we just, like, you know, fill him full of arrows, that should be fine. And he does start taking damage, but nowhere near as quickly as I thought. I think a number of our units are blocking each other, despite the fact it says it doesn't say they are. I think they, they are, basically. So we dropped the Warden Cage, but I was a little bit, you know, it's... It's a premature Warden's Cage. You know, it happens to the best of us. Um, it, it went off in my hands. And unfortunately, that Goblin Shaman is definitely not going to die in time. So we're going to actually lose that. Go Mind you, the other guy didn't actually end up in the cage anyway. So never mind. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not the end of the world. I could have used those Warden Supplies, but it's fine. Well, we didn't get him in the prison, but never mind. Guess we'll just have to find someone else to put the rubber pants on. Obviously, they're crotchless. That's just that's just a given. Why? Oh, we need to tell Asmund of Hoas to do that. Right, right. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll go inspiring presence. Remain vigilant. Okay, we've got this one. We'll go and grab the Shrine of Loek next turn. Grim, and uh, we've got this locked down. We've got this shit locked down. Wait, what the fuck? And control is a hunt. Okay, we need more control. Apparently, we need to max out our control. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Right, well, we'll spend our money upgrading that one. Also, Cavill. You need to be in my army. I forgot about you. Sorry about that. In you go. In you go. In you go. There you go. There you go. Right, what do you do? Right, you can have the scroll of power, I guess. The white wolf. Oh, yes, you get a potion of toughness. Good. And more growth for local province, which... You know what? You know what? I'm not surprised. He he would. I mean, you you would, wouldn't you, Henry Cavill? Oof, you would, definitely. I will consider any suggestion that aids Tor Ivris. as long as it requires leather pants. Okay, well those guys are dead. That's a shame. Oh, we can't. Can we reach them? Oh, we can reach them. Good. Good. Brutal business. Can we... I can all resolve that. Thank you. Okay. Orcs are dead. Bosh. It's done. Sorted. That little problem is sorted. Now we just need to deal with the... the uh oh. The old Valin has already been... Uh, has already had a dildo stuffed up his bottom. That's my job. Let's get more growth here. This seems like more growth. Good, good thing. I mean, extra money is not bad as well. You know, can't can't argue with that. I guess. I guess these guys wouldn't be the worst idea. We'll grab them. What we got here? Champions of the East. 
Okay, we don't have many mist walkers dedicated to Liadriel. I mean, yeah, we don't have many mist walker units at the moment. That's the only problem. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just go with Bowmaster, because being able to increase ammunition and reload time reduction. My life. It's just good. Right, we need to deal with the Kari. The Kari is next. Shem's burning gaze? I mean it's it's no it's no quash. It's no quash, but it's something. Pestilent beast. Your very presence is abhorrent. Alright, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did I did wonder if that was gonna happen. I mean, all, all starting Altharian down there really did nature for what it is. is just uncover a bunch of factions that are definitely going to want to kill me later. And by later, I mean now. Ah, Spirit Leech. Spirit Leech is good. It's going to help us pick off... Pick off uh, enemy characters. Get them locked up in a prison. Let's get the nipple nipple clamps out. That's what we need to do. We'll do this quest battle as well, seeing as it's it's on the way, and plus we need it to get higher level magic. Did you always need to do that? I gotta be I don't play high elves very often, because obviously the you know, PTSD. So I don't know whether that's like a a new thing, or whether that was always the case, and I just never paid attention, which is quite possible. Okay, how we look- oof. Yeah, we may may need, may need another turn to replenish, just to be on the safe side. I think we can just give it one more turn. Okay, I'll upgrade you, that's upgrading. Disciple. I, I, you know what? Surprisingly, these I, I I thought these guys would fold almost immediately, but they aren't. They do seem to be holding the Kari back. An archive for that. Trumpeters could get a trumpeter. Cartridge. I don't have any of those guys at the moment. Uh, recruit rank. Don't really care about that. Recruit rank. Don't really care about that. But I mean, I guess of all the options, it might. Think might be the best. Joy is, wanton. is it? You're a very grumpy man, aren't you, Altharian? Okay, if we do that. If we do that, we'll be at max strength. We can go and take on the amulet quests. Just knock that one out, because I, I do tend to be a little bit remiss when it comes to quest battles. Okay, here we go. Let's take this out. We're looking at Pyrrhic victory. Uh, God, that must be new then, because because Zinch de definitely didn't exist in Warhammer Two, did it? So this must be a new quest battle then. Ah, kinsmen, it is now clear that the weakening of the talisman was not without reason. The medallion's connection to the ancient waystones has revealed a dire fate. This ruinous host of chaos seeks to destroy this waystone and all others that protect Alfwa. Our proximity to it shall grant us its power, but it also nourishes our foes. The keepers of the stones send aid from the mountain pass to the north. But the river will not slow these twisted beings for long. We must hold this position to the last. If we fail, Ivres will fall, and all Althuan will be next. The fate of the Vortex, nay, the entire world, rests on our shoulders. So we do have an ability which does give us more winds of magic, but obviously we've we've got an enemy caster here. He definitely has some nasty spells. Our spells, on the other hand, are sort of limited. 
So uh, we're, we're probably not going to want to use it all that much. First off, though, he does decide to come and attack Altharian, which is actually fine by me. Because uh, that's going to put him right right at the middle of, of a firing line, which is, is perfect. We drop a Warden's Cage on him. Hit him with a Spirit Leech there. He does take off into the air, unfortunately. But the enemy, sorry, our archers are now just ripping him to shreds. And down he goes. Yep, he is going to be in the Sex Dungeon, no problem. Nice little Soul Quench there. We've got a nice defensive formation. There are some uh, Marauder Horsemen that managed to flank around us, but our archers are dealing with that. There we go. They are now out of there. Enemy reinforcements arriving. There goes our Flamey Vortex, which actually does amazing work and really just shreds those Marauders. Doing fantastic. Oh, oh so good. So flame pillars. So hot right now. Literally hot. Meanwhile, uh, Cavill is getting the attention of all of these Chaos Warriors. Obviously, they're fans of the, uh, of the DC universe. Lovely soul quench. Covering them all with my viscous liquid. The aspiring champions charging. Now, aspiring champions are, are Chunky, beefy boys. They don't really do a huge amount of damage, though. So they're being whittled down. As you can see, we've managed to deal with the initial army pretty easily. Those reinforcements, uh, not not concerning, really. There's a couple of, like, wolf ha wolf packs, which we're going to be you know, a little bit careful of. They've got some Vermeer as well. Overall, it could be worse. So we're just dealing with the aspiring champions. Our missile units are whittling down the last of the enemy. And uh, we, we have used quite a lot of ammunition, though. So we are going to have to be a little bit careful. Sparring champions are being quite tanky. The best way to kill sparring champions is either with missile attacks or alternatively with characters. Because they do tend to do a large amount of damage. And here comes additional reinforcements. We've got uh, a little zinch. Contingent being led by an exalted Lord of Change. So this this must be a new quest battle. It must be because they didn't didn't exist in Warhammer Two. And Authority came out in Warhammer Two, so this is a new quest battle, right? Right. Sparring champions. Trying to get away, getting shot in the back. It's just very, just soaking up a lot of fire that I kind of need to deal with, you know, everything else. We're still waiting for some of our reinforcements to arrive. It seems like they're taking their sweet time, so I guess we're going to have to do this ourselves. As it is, though, you can see a lot of our units are starting to run very low on ammunition, which is uh, kind of a problem. I mean, they've got they've got a soul grinder on top of everything else, so that's fun. Duh. Ow, 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 ow. Should definitely try to dodge that. Okay, they're moving into range. A lot of missile fire coming in there. The Exalted Lord of Change lands in the midst of Cavill and Eltharion. And backs up with missile fire power, the Spirit Leech. All that kind of good stuff. We are giving him some extreme acupuncture. It's a little bit close though. We are starting to take quite a lot of damage from this. We hit him with the the Tempest, which actually does... Obviously, he's landed, but it still does damage because he's a flying unit. Which means he is going to disintegrate. So down goes the Lord of Change. We just need to finish off 
that's what I was saying. But reinforcements have arrived, and it's uh, it's a horde of turkeys. It's, uh, yep. Lots and lots of turkeys. Heroes riding turkeys. Flaming turkeys. Frozen turkeys. Lots of turkeys. Lots of different turkeys. The Forsaken are fleeing the battlefield. We have to deal with this Soul Grinder, and we need to also tank these Chaos Warhounds. Fortunately, our Spearman managed to get into range just, just in time. The Chaos Warhounds getting a horrible little surround on those Spearmen, which means they're going to start taking a lot of damage, but we should win that engagement. So Altharian and Cavill are trying to take out that Soul Grinder, which is a nasty customer. Oof. Was that soul? What? 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 What was that? Was that a soul grinder effect? God knows. Anyway, here come the turkeys. They've got an arcane magic turkey as well. Lots of different types of turkeys. Taking down that soul grinder. Landing in the midst of this horde of Norskans. Lots of spells coming out, though, for our side. Obviously giving us a huge helping hand. Enemy general being pecked to death. And the stream is uh, riddled with chaos bodies. The last of our ammunition be expended on this large blob of marauders and Vermeer. But with our reinforcements here helping out, it looks like we will get the upper hands. I, you know what? I genuinely really enjoyed this quest battle. I think this is a really well-made quest battle. I think so many of them are just awful. Um, but this one, really, really good. I enjoyed this. It had it had tension. It had reinforcements. It had the cavalry arriving. All that kind of good stuff. I liked it. I thought this was a good quest battle. That must be a new quest battle, which is kind of weird, but okay. I'm, I'm going to take the money. Yeah, I'm going to take the money. We've got a Talisman of Hoth. It's going to give us advanced high magic and a reduction in Hand of Glory, which is a spell that I do not particularly like, but... There we go. It's, you know, good to have. Good to have. Okay. I don't really need that. What, what would I like here? I mean, having access to... Well, do I... I don't really need access to more magic, do I? Uh, having a... Oh, God. What do I need for an archivist, wasn't it? What the fuck? What the fuck did I need for the next level of tech? Uh, where are we? Tech, 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 tech. tech. I, I need a, a, an elf tower full of elf nerds. All right, we'll get those elf nerds. Get the old R and D boys. Still, uh, yeah, well, we definitely want that. And armor for unending volley. Oh, yes. So all missile units basically replenish ammunition every 25. Basically, it means you just never run out of ammunition. That would have been really useful in that battle we just did, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm, that would have helped. Never mind. Never mind. You know, it. you never learn. You live and learn. Call of the Great Herds. Yeah, all right. We will get that, and we'll upgrade to this as well, so we can get more Silver and Guards, which is a unit that we disbanded a whole bunch of. Never mind. Right, so we've got a slight issue here in that we're at war with most of the the Border Princes, Tilia, Estalia. Most of that is currently trying to kill us. So that's... Well, I mean, it's not fun, but also, we I definitely got that guy... I definitely got him in there. It, it, it's, 
did, did they do make the quest battle, but not actually? I mean, he's a chaos guy, so I definitely should be able to get him in. I've, I've definitely. It's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Hello, non aggression pact. Yes, I feel like as elves, we should be, you know, coming together and not trying to kill each other, ideally. Well, I mean, obviously the high elves, the dark elves, fuck those guys. Wisdom is mine. What? We need a watchtower. Okay. All right, we can do that. What have we got? Helmet Professor. Own the entirety of two provinces. Current total four. Well, good job me, I guess. Well done, me. Seek out enemies. Okay. If we now, Nakari might be being contained anyway. We might be able to ignore him. Oh crap! Oh come on! Oh come on! Oh, right. Okay. Joy is what? Tell me about it. Fuck me. Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, shit. Right. Okay. 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 Right. As per usual, this is a supporter campaign, and so the supporter campaign is exclusive for supporters that's youtube supporters and patreon supporters until the campaign has finished and every every video we have a poll and the poll for next time is going to be do, do we want to deal with nakari first or morgo first i mean obviously nakari is is a threat but morgo is like pr more pressing but we could quickly nip up knock out nakari and then that's that threat dealt with i feel like we're just going to see waves upon waves of enemies coming from the south um that i mean well morgas if, if we kill morga that'll probably stop that but i think these ruins here are probably skaven so do we deal with the kari quickly before heading south to deal with morga or do we go and deal with morga and uh, hope that the kari is is held in place by these other minor elf factions that's going to be the poll for next time uh, if you would like to become a supporter you can head along to patreon or to youtube and join up there it is always much appreciated and if not then obviously the campaign will be out eventually for everyone anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.